And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Triple digit heat rolls on. Here are the high temperatures across the region for the day on Tuesday. Amarillo topping out at 102, 105 in Borger. Uh, Canadian 103. Yeah, the triple digit heat looks like it's going to last a little bit longer here. A couple of more days. Give you the numbers here in just a second. For Wednesday, another sunny and hot day. We're going to forecast 102. Not quite as windy. Southwest winds, still a hot wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Probably gust a little bit higher at times as we go on through the day. A little weather trivia. How many days, including today, have we seen 100 degrees or higher? Hmm, we're better than halfway through summer. Answer is nine. Two of them were in June and seven of them in July, so far in July. Average high is 93, triple digits for a couple of more days. We stay above average, but get a little closer as we go on through the weekend, so mid 90s. Low temperatures above average as well. Give yourself some extra time to cool off in the evenings, especially overnight. Get a fan going in the room, something like that. Cool down if you can so you can give your body, especially if you've spent some time outside, a chance to recover. When the temperatures don't fall too, too much at night, that doesn't give you a chance to recover from heat stress. So something to keep in mind there as we head on into another day of triple digit heat. Here's the computer forecast model. Maybe a few clouds wandering through early in the day, but it looks like a dry day until late afternoon. Once again, like the past couple of days, especially Union County, New Mexico, in and around Clayton, a handful of showers, thunder showers pop up and then they weaken as we get closer to sunset. Not expecting any severe weather, but a couple of rumbles of thunder. I have a tiny little 10% rain chance for the day on Thursday. It's more hopeful than anything else. 100 degrees for the high there. Another tiny little chance on Saturday and temperatures remain, as I mentioned, above average going into next week.